I think it's very important for family members to be able to conceptualize their loved one the way they were before and as a person, just as a human being, so that they do not get too overwhelmed in the injury piece of it. And the injury piece of it, therefore, then becomes the whole person. And then, you know, when that happens, family members tend to interact with the person in, in different ways, you know, like, oh, you're sick or you're ill, you're weak, you're fragile. So I think it's very important for any family member to be able to understand that their loved one is still the person that they were before. And I think moms in particular with younger injured people have such a hard time with this because they feel like they have to fix the child. And this is something that they just can't fix. There's no Band-Aid, there's no teacher you can call, there's no principal you can call to fix a problem. This is what moms are used to doing. So they have to figure out a way to help their child through this and do it in a way that they are taking the whole person into account. In other words, this is still my child. He's not so fragile. He's, he's going to be okay. And I'm going to interact with him similar to the way I did before all of this. I'm going to treat him like he's a child, or I'm going to treat him like he's 18 turning into an adult. He's a person with an injury. He's not an injury.